Staff Sergeant Michael Ritchie, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, R-I-T-C-H-I-E. Talk to us a little bit about what, what happened. So uh, this evening, a little bit before 7 o'clock, uh, Harris County Sheriff's Office deputies uh, uh, responded to an in-progress call. Uh, some, uh, some neighbors here had called uh, 911 stating that there was a, uh, an injured man uh, at their front door that needed medical attention. Uh, once the deputies arrived, uh, they realized that uh, the individual had been uh, shot. And uh, during further investigation and doing a welfare check and, and uh, canvassing the area, they found uh, a vehicle with uh, another adult male that was uh, shot. Uh, the male inside the vehicle uh, was confirmed on scene. Uh, the male that had, uh, had uh, gotten to the neighbor's house uh, asking for help is uh, at the hospital now in surgery in critical condition. When you say cut into, did he knock on the door or did he just go uh, I, I'm not exactly sure of how, if he was able to knock on the door or not, uh, but I believe he was able to, to knock on the door and get somehow get the, uh, the homeowner's attention that uh, he was there. Were they, were they related? No, no. There's uh, the both both men are, are unidentified at this time. We're still working on identifying the two uh, complainants. Uh, right now, there's no suspect information either. That's still under investigation. Uh, but right now, we're just uh, canvassing the area, trying to talk to people, looking for uh, looking for video, uh, and then also uh, shortly here, the medical examiner's office will be here to collect the, the body. Do they, do they live in this neighborhood? Uh, we're, we're still looking at that right now. Like I said, the identity uh, of the uh, complainant inside the vehicle is, uh, is unconfirmed. Uh, we're uh, trying to find the, the owner of the, the vehicle as well to try to find out if this is uh, his vehicle or not. So again, a lot of those uh, things we're still trying to, uh, to figure out. Do we have the age of the victims? Uh, we don't have the ages again. They, they, it's again, it's unconfirmed, but uh, I would say they're definitely both uh, um, young, young adult men. Have you located any guns? Uh, at this time, can't say if we have or have not. Everything's still uh, under investigation. Does it appear that the shooting could have taken place between these two individuals at this point? Uh, anything is possible uh, right now. It is possible that these two did that. It, does, it, all, it is also possible if there was a third person uh, involved in this as well. That's again what we're trying to figure out right now. Are you able to tell how many rounds were shot? Uh, again, no, we're not able to tell tell that. Uh, again, a lot of times in those situations, um, it's difficult to tell. Definitely before the medical examiner's office here, definitely after autopsy, um, it's easier to find out of how many times a you know victim has been uh, shot. But again, there are shell casings here at this scene. Uh, right now, um, again, we we have not. Uh, we're still looking. We've not really located uh, any. There could be some inside the vehicle. Uh, again, we, we cannot uh, process the vehicle so you know, at this time. So we know that the shooting occurred here? They could have uh, up here. It, it is possible that it could have happened elsewhere and they pulled up here after it. Uh, again, uh, a lot of times in these type of situations, uh, anything's possible, but that's what we're trying to, to find out. Which, which car was it like there? Where was the person seated, the one who died? Um, the, uh, the complaint is sitting in the driver's seat. And it's a, it's a dark SUV. So if anyone, uh, the sheriff's office is asking for anyone's help, um, you know, if anyone that maybe lives in this neighborhood uh, that maybe saw something um, or that has video or that heard something, uh, of course, they can call Crime Stoppers and be anonymous uh, and uh, help us out with this uh, investigation. So again, right now we have one uh, deceased, looks like adult male, and then we have another adult male that's uh, in critical condition uh, undergoing surgery right now. Can you give us any races at the two? Um, right now it, look, it looks it looks to be uh, uh, either white or Hispanic male as a complainant. I'm not sure about the race of the individual uh, at the hospital. Have you been able to find the video on the uh, Our investigators right now are, are canvassing the neighborhood and, and looking at the houses and, and finding out which ones do have video and will be uh, definitely speaking to those homeowners, um, maybe at a better time, uh, maybe having to do it tomorrow since it's getting late, uh, and to maybe see if they did catch anything with their security video. There's been some uh, recent fights in this area that we know of, you know, because we, we, we're aware of that. 
Um, has, is there more patrol in the area? From what I understand, the sheriff's office, uh, this neighborhood is is a contract, mm -hmm. which means uh, this neighborhood, the HOA pays uh, the sheriff's office to have mm -hmm. a deputy inside this contract. So mm -hmm. I do know, uh, I used to work out here as a supervisor and uh, this is district one. So I do know this is a, uh, this is a contract. So there is a deputy assigned to this neighborhood and that deputy was on duty oh. uh, um, this evening and is, is the deputy that was the first one here in doing the initial report. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right, folks. This is your girl, Jason. Okay. Okay. All right, y'all. Have a good night. Thank you. You too, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right, folks. This is your girl, Grizzly, live here with the Hood News here at the scene of a fatal shooting. Uh, I saw a question from you guys because I, I know that you guys have mentioned that there's been a lot of fights and stuff in the area. So they did contract out a deputy. He was here first at the scene. So yeah, we've got homicide detectives and um, crime scene investigators. One man was found shot, the other person deceased in a vehicle with an apparent uh, gunshot wounds. And yeah, they're still investigating. Medical examiner is en route. This is Grizzy Trail Valley Drive, uh, no, Trail Valley Way. <clears throat> Real close to Shotwell Middle School. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up, folks. I'm heading home. Uh, there is a video I'm about to post of an uproar over at the NRG Stadium, Atascacita versus Lamar. Stay tuned. I'll be posting that video shortly. Reporting live here in North Harris County, it's your girl Grizzy. Back to you, friends. Be safe. Heads on a swivel. The vehicle, let me show y'all real quick. <clears throat> That's the, the vehicle where the, the other victims at. <clears throat>